Hi, we're joined here by Miss Ireland, Chelsea Farrell, giving an internet safety talk for Internet Safety Day to our TYs and first years. What is the key message of your talk? So behind my talks today that I have done with first years and TYs, my key message is the word STAR. So S for stay safe online, keep your privacy settings private and just make sure everything is intact online for your own safety. Then T, so treat others how you would like to be treated online. Always put yourself in other shoes before you comment or before you post an image because at the end of the day, you don't know what that person is going through and you mightn't like it if you were in their position. So A is ask for help. Always go to a teacher or to a trusted adult and let them know how you're feeling or what you're going through if there is something going on because you're never on your own. There's always someone there to help you and then or is reach out so if you see someone else being bullied whether it be in school online just reach out to them and then also tell a trusted adult and help on their behalf as well nice uh, so could you tell us about your journey to becoming miss ireland and what you have to do oh god okay <laughs> so before i became miss ireland i was miss Loud. So I was representing just my county as such. So a lot of it was charity based, believe it or not. It was a lot of working with children's charities. So I was working with Variety Ireland and I ran a huge children's charity event in Dundalk to raise money for them. So I raised nearly a grand, which was incredible for them. And then other than that, it was kind of like obviously practicing how I speak, how I approach myself and um, walking, talking, posing, all of that. But other than that, there was a lot of charity based work and a lot of just getting to know everyone and getting to know a lot more about my county and that. And then, of course, the two days before the final was just rehearsals because we did put on a show. So it was constant rehearsals and then reading through questions and just knowing about myself, my county, my country, different things like that. And then I won the crown in the end. Well done. Uh, how has your life changed since you won it? Dramatically. <laughs> no, um, it has changed for the better, of course, so I never expected to win. I was one of them people who doubt, doubted themselves, and that's another message that I want to get out there to all young teenagers. Don't ever doubt yourself, because I was the one that said, oh, I'll never win this, and I went in it for the experience not to win it, and then I did. So always believe in yourself, and everything will happen. But in regards to how my life has changed, it's gotten so much busier. I'm doing a lot more charity work. Obviously, I went to Miss World in London. So I made a lot of contacts with celebrities, with agencies, with girls all over the world. So that's something that I never imagined happening, of course. But no, it has changed for the better with regard to how busy I am, the events that I'm attending, like, you know, like events that all your big Irish bloggers and all would be going to. So that alone is amazing because I never expected to be at them. But yeah, it has just changed completely for the better. Thanks, guys.